Greetings, gentlemen. This is OTR Ogre and Corgi, and it's going to be a little thought exercise, or really it's going to be a rant. But uh, like, like, and subscribe, comment if you so choose. You know, generally when people have cancer and it's like a tumor that can be removed, you remove the fucking tumor, and then you maybe get some chemo or something to make sure nothing grows in its place, right? Sounds good. But why is it with our state government and even a lot of our federal government, but let's focus on the state government. We'll have these cities that are basically cancer, and we're taught to love our cancer. Oh, it's not cancer. It's, it's a utopia. These are the smart people. These are the people that can't run their governments for shit, or they're literally currently running them into the ground just to try to make Orange Man look bad. Like, I understand you hate Orange Man, but maybe it's not a good policy to let your own city get burned down and act like, oh, we couldn't do anything. They're sitting there uh, allying with a bunch of people that, frankly, are communists. That's, that's not working. It's not a good plan. But I think what's abhorrent about this is the idea that you as a regular working Joe in a state, you don't even have representation. You vote for the best party you can get, and hopefully, hopefully enough of your people show up, 51% show up, and that decides what's going to run it. Well, you got these enclave type of states, like Washington, Oregon, California, um, you know, Illinois, Michigan, where the majority of people happen to be left wing. Well, what about the rest of the landmass? You know, why is it that a small area, you know, determines the rest of the landmass's way their their electoral college votes go? And I think really. If, if things get too bad in a city, you as a rural citizen of a state, you should have the right to vote out the city. They're like, what do you mean vote out the city? I mean, literally, if this city wants to run things like there's some sort of dictator, and this is the problem, because the majority of the votes being in these big cities, it ends up being a situation where you, in an area that you lived homogeneously for your family for two or three generations out in the middle of nowhere, you know your land mass, you know what works, you know what, what's good for your people. But somebody, a bean counter in, you know, the state capital or one of those big cities decides, no, we're going to do this thing in your area, and we have the right to do it because we have more people than you. That's kind of fucked. Now, imagine for a second... If the majority of the rural part of the state, like, the city doesn't even get the vote in it. Think about that one for a second. Only the outsiders get to vote in it. Like, why is it only the outsiders? Because the outsiders are tired of your fuck shit politics screwing everything up for everyone else. But you know what? I think you'll still get your representation in the government. Because... You're still going to have that populace there, so we just take whatever that amount of electoral college votes that you have there, and you get those in the city, but you're divided from that state. Like, say you're in Washington State, and you have Tacoma and Seattle. Let's just say the whole fucking Puget Sound and be done with it. And the Puget Sound gets that many electoral college votes based on its populace. But the other two parts of the state, the east side and the west side, yeah, they get to have their own level of voting, electoral college votes as well. But then they get to determine how their state, their part of the state is actually ran. And the same thing, like, look at, look at Detroit. Detroit is a cancer on Michigan. Flint is a cancer on Michigan. You know, imagine for a second that they could excise that goddamn cancer and uh, the rest of the state could go on with their lives. So you couldn't parasite off of the rest of the state. You couldn't be like, well, this other industry is going to pay for our fuck-ups in these cities. And that's the thing about it. So, we, you know, we should be able to excise this, you know, political statewide cancer and just divide. They should be able to have their way in the cities if they want to be ultra far left and all that. Fine, whatever. But as long as they keep it in their fucking side of the fence. And then us on the outside, you know, the fucking regular people, the working class, the normal people. Yeah, we'll have our way out here. And, and you know, if, you're, if, you're, if what you have really works so well in your city, then it should be able to support itself without our tax dollars, without our money. Because I'm pretty sure the rest of us in the rural parts of the country will be absolutely fine without you. 
We'll find a way to build our roads just fine. We'll probably find a way to do a lot cheaper, too, without your unions and all your bullshit being forced down our throats. But I know, like I said, this is a goddamn rant. But, I, yeah, let's just cut these cancerous cities, these extreme left cities, out and let them be their own little city-states. You know, and, you know, they can come up with their own names and all that, and they can be fine. And, and, and But the, the key thing is, is that people outside of the cities are the only ones that get to vote on this. And people are like, well, that's not fair to the people in the city. Yeah, but you know what's not fair? The fact that the cities determine for the last, since I was a child, since way before I was a child, the cities have always determined how the rest of the state's going to be ruled. And that's bullshit. So, hey, let, let people have representation, accurate representation. Let the cities be their own states and let the rest of the state build their own things. Let's see, see how things turn out. So, anyways, that's a rant. Take it easy. You have a good night. OTR Ogre out. Like, link, and subscribe. Comment if you so choose. And, uh, yeah, later.